Hello, my name is Matthew Ball, and I'm a software engineer on the CAIDMS team at Broadcom. In this video, I will be demonstrating the new CAIDMS plugin for Zoe CLI. We'll get started by installing the plugin. Navigate to the directory where the downloaded plugin.tgz file is located, and then open a command prompt or bash shell instance in this directory and type the command Zoe plugins install and then the file name and press enter. When we see the message, this plugin was, was successfully validated. Enjoy the plugin. We know that, these, that the plugin has been successfully installed. Next, we'll create a profile to interface with the IDMS REST API running on the mainframe. You'll need the host name and port number of the API your mainframe username and password, and the data source, which is the name of the IDMS system that you've already defined in your data sources definition file for the API. So go ahead and type in Zoe Profiles Create IDMS, and then your desired profile name, dash dash host with the host name, dash dash port with the port number, dash dash user with the mainframe username, dash dash password with the mainframe password, and dash dash data source with the data source name, and then press enter. If successful, the created profile will be shown on the screen. Now that we have a profile, we can start using the CLI. First, we'll look at the available commands by typing Zoe IDMS dash dash help. In the help screen, we can see that the commands are divided into two groups, issue and list. Issue commands are used to issue IDMS, DCMT, and DCUF commands. List commands are used to list active IDMS systems, log messages, user tasks, and transaction details. Now, I'll view the list of available issue commands by entering the command Zoe IDMS issue dash dash help. Let's say that we wanted to interact with IDMS system statistics. We can use DCMT dash help to view the available statistics, DCMT commands. By entering Zoe IDMS issue DCMT dash help dash dash args for arguments statistics. We get back a list of all of the available DCMT commands for statistics. Let's use DCMT display statistics system to view system statistics. You can do this with the CLI by entering Zoe IDMS issue DCMT dash display dash dash args statistics system with the arguments and quotes. And in return, we get the same display that we would if we did DCMT display statistics system on the mainframe. Now that we've looked at these statistics, let's write them to the log and roll them. This can be done with the issue DCMT statistics CLI command. To learn how to use this command, this time we'll try viewing the command help in the browser by using the command Zoe IDMS issue DCMT dash statistics dash dash help dash web. The web help will now load in the default web browser on the page that we requested. On the left hand side of the screen, we can see all available Zoe help options and either a tree view or flat view display. There is also a search bar to assist in navigating the web help under the tree and flat view buttons. Looking at the command, we can see under options 
that the DC that issue DCMP statistics command supports the role argument. If we scroll down further to examples, we can see an example of the issue DCMT st statistics command used with the role argument. Let's copy that example and use it to issue the DCMT write statistics role command. And we see the message IDMS DC 275916 meaning that the command was successful. Now, let's view the list of available list commands by entering Zoe IDMS list dash dash help. Now from the list of commands, we'll try Zoe IDMS list systems dash dash all to view a list of all the active IDMS CVs on the LPAR. And now to view details about an individual CV, we'll simply type in Zoe IDMS list systems dash dash job name and then the job name of the CV that we want to learn more about. It really is that simple. But what if you want to automate and consolidate actions run against one or more IDMS systems? By adding IDMS CLI commands to a script using the language of your choice, you can achieve automation and relieve the user from having to remember syntax or typing long commands. To demonstrate this, we've created a simple shell script, maxtasks.sh, which is displayed on the left-hand side of my screen now. Maxtasks determines whether a CV has reached the threshold for maximum concurrent tasks. If max tasks have been reached, the script will increase the max number of tasks by 10%. Let's try running this script against a local CV. In the bash shell on the right hand side of my screen, I'll run the script from its directory by typing dot forward slash max tasks dot sh and then the name of the profile that I would wish to run against. And we see from the response that the system is below the threshold and masks tasks are unchanged. Now, let's try running the script against a system that I know has reached the maximum task threshold. And we see from the output that the max tasks have been increased from 60 to 66 on this system. By combining Zoe IDMS CLI commands, along with scripting logic, the task of testing and potentially changing the max task threshold and number is accomplished by simply executing the script and supplying a profile name. With this simple example, you can see that the opportunities for automation are endless using Zoe IDMS CLI commands and scripts. Thank you for joining us today. Please visit techtalks.broadcom.com for more information.